Hello everybody, in this Rhino video tutorial, I would like to demonstrate the modeling of a conceptual faucet. Okay, as you can see on screen, I have created the initial construction curves and the dimensions are based on an existing faucet. Okay, so let's proceed to create the initial surfaces. Okay, before I do that, I need to put a circular cross section around here so uh, let's create a circle okay I need to rebuild this uh, circle to degree 3 so I type rebuild okay and as you can see the existing circle is in degree 2 uh, we need to convert it to degree 3 so that um, the surfaces are uh, created from it uh, will be of a better quality okay so i set this to three point count to eight click okay next i need to put this over here and we can do so by using the orient command orient okay enter. so select object to orient enter so it asks you for the first reference point okay so using the quote okay this is my first reference point then ask you for the second reference point okay using the quote this is my second reference point okay Next, before you proceed to put the, the ta target, okay, you need to set your scale to 3D, okay? You only work if you set the scale to 3D, okay? Once it's set to 3D, we can set the first target point. Okay, this is the first target point. Okay, this is the second target point. Okay, so, yeah, we have successfully reoriented this uh, circle to be here, okay? Now, I'll proceed to create the surface here. I will use um, sweep to rail, okay? So, first rail, second rail, this is the cross section. Okay, so this is the initial surface, okay? Don't, don't worry about whether it's accurate or not because uh, we will have to rebuild it, okay? This is uh, just the initial surface. Okay, next I want to build the initial surface for the main body as well. To do that, I will use the sweep to rail again. So first rail, second rail, cross section. Okay. Click OK. Okay. Okay, let's go to the top view. As you can see over here, um, this this area is not really perfect. I want it to be a, uh, having a more uh, nicer plan at the same time here we need to also have this thing blended over here okay so um, as I mentioned this is only the initial surface so we need to uh, extract curves from here and then make modification to it and after that we can delete the initial surface and followed by creating a new better surface okay to extract a, a curve from here okay, let me just uh, hide the first okay to extract a curve from here i'm going to use the extract iso curve okay so you go to curve curve from object extract iso curve so click on this so we want to place the iso curve here okay so yeah so i've already created an iso curve and i i, I don't need this anymore so let's delete this okay now let's uh Rebuild the ISO curve to lesser control points. Okay, to do that, you can use this rebuild curve non-uniform. Okay, so yeah, I think I'll just uh use the default uh values. Press enter. Okay, so I have this uh this curve here, and let's come to the top view to refine it okay so they are like control points that we don't need that we need that we can remove okay so i can delete them away to smoothen the shape okay in this design i actually want this to be blended to to this area okay so Let me just set this to wireframe. So I'm going to select this. 
okay uh, maybe I'll set to ghosted okay uh, okay I want to place uh, this point somewhere around here okay so let's uh, move the point so for this point move it make sure you got the end turn on we want to move this point to be around here okay yeah need to make some fine adjustments now okay so I want this to be have a nice blend so this one this part I'm going to move it slightly around here let's do some fine adjustments Okay, I think I need another control point here. So I'm going to use the insert lock. Okay. Okay, I think I'm quite happy with the 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 curve now. So uh, let's um mirror this to the other side. Okay, let's mirror this to side. Okay, maybe I need to adjust this a little bit. Okay, not so not so much. Okay, so maybe something like that. Okay, so let's um. Mirror this to the other side. So I'm going to use the mirror command. Okay. Okay, now I want to create another cross section over here in order to create our top uh, surface here. Okay. So let me just uh, set this to wireframe so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to create a curve here and I'm going to use this interpolate point so set to end okay as uh, this is too sharp so I want to make this part broader what I can do is uh, actually uh, split the curve first so we can split this curve using this curve so it's now being split into two half and then we join them back okay the whole idea is for us to have uh, additional control point over here which we can make uh, adjustments okay so uh, I'm using the scaling widget on the gumball to scale this okay so I think okay I think it look better at that okay So I'm going to build the top surface followed by the bottom surface. In order to do that, I want to use the surface from network of curve. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, break this curve into two halves. Okay. For a better surfacing. Okay. So um, using the split. So select object to split is this. Cutting object is this and this. Okay. Enter. Okay. Now I 
uh, splitted disk so now we can proceed to do our surface from network okay so from the surface creation which is parked inside here go to surface or network curve so let's create the top portion so these are the curves okay so this is my first uh, surface okay and I proceed to do the bottom one okay for that I need to break this again okay so uh, click the split so object to split is this curve okay enter cutting object is this curve here okay enter so yeah we split this okay into two half okay so now we can use the surface from network curve again so select curve for network so this is my curve this is my curve this is my curve this and this okay okay so we have created the uh, another surface okay click okay so let's uh turn the shading on okay as you can see we have created the basic form of this uh design okay and it's far from being done yet because uh what i need to do next is actually to create a nice blend over here okay nice blend over here and also to uh, finish up this portion and lastly to build the, the handle okay but uh, i've come to the end of part one so if you are interested in the subsequent uh, processes you might want to watch part two okay see you around bye